All right, welcome back to Central Valley Buzz, everybody. I'm Chuck Leonard, and Billy, I'm so excited to bring in our next coach, Fresno State wrestling coach, Coach Delito. Hello, sir. How are you? How's it going? Good. I want to, first off, thanks for coming down. Okay, uh, you're, you're a local legend here in Fresno, and uh, I just want to first off start off by getting some of your background. Where were you born? Fresno. You were born here in Fresno. Born and raised in Fresno. Where, 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 where were you born? Uh, St. Agnes. The old one over the on old, Fruit? The old one. Nice. So you, I'd like to be another Does you know, that mean, were you a Fre Fresno High warrior? Or? Bullard High, Fresno City College, Fresno State. Okay, Bullard Knight. Bullard Knight, Okay. Yeah. And so you go to Fresno State. Did you wrestle through high school and college? Yes. Yes, I wrestled. I, our football coach at Bullard made us wrestle. If, if we weren't out for another sport, they say you have to wrestle. So I went out for wrestling as a junior, and I just fell in love with it. How, how good were you? Not very good. <laughs> <laughs> Not very good. I mean, I wasn't near as good as some of the guys I coached, let's put it that way. Uh, I got better as I got older, but uh, you know, I was very average. So then you, you, you go to Fresno State and you, you become a teacher? Yeah, well basically I went, I went to Clovis High. Okay. I was at Clovis High for 10 years and I had a lot of success coaching there. And Russ Sloan came out one day and said, you want to be a wrestling coach at Fresno State? I says, what do you mean, do I apply or? It's no. You could have the job. I said, well, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> so, so wait, so you're at Clovis High as the wrestling coach for 10 years? Yes. And you, you take their program and it does pretty good? Yeah, we do good. Okay. Uh, Co uh, coach Sloan comes to you and says, come on over to Fresno State. Yeah. And you get to Fresno State. How? What What condition was the program in? It was, you know, it wasn't real high powered at the time. It, uh, coach Francis, who coached me, was still the coach there. And, you know, it's just... He wasn't. He didn't have a whole lot of money. He wasn't recruiting real large, you know. So when I got there, you know, I was young, relatively young, you know, and I got really uh, motivated. Got some it's, fire in yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I still had a lot of fire in me, and uh, I got a booster group together, and we got some money, and uh, we started getting some better guys. Better guys in college make you a better coach. <laughs> so I started getting better guys, and I got to be a better coach. So. The recruiting part of it, I mean, what do you tell a, a kid that's, uh, that's uh, a wrestler doing real well in high school, hey, come to Fresno, our, our, our team isn't very good? Well, I didn't use that line. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, you know, I said come to Fresno State, just like you said, Fresno's got a lot of things to do. We got Yosemite, I, there's a whole recruiting line. Fresno's a good down, you know, I'm a Fresno guy. Sure. So, you know, we were young at Fresno State, we had a few bucks we could give them, and we said, hey, we could, we're at the tip of doing something big, we hope. And, uh, you know, I just, I've never been married, I lived and died wrestling, so I was, uh, I'm full-time wrestling, so it was a little different. You know, if I was recruiting you, you'd know me. Right. You'd get where you couldn't stand me. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't going to come to Fresno State, or you were going to come to Fredo State because I haunted you. So. Why, why, why does a guy, why does an athlete go do wrestling at the collegiate level? What, what, is, what is the next level? I mean, obviously there's the Olympics, but very, very few people go to the Olympics. Um, and then there's the, the WWE, but that's a completely different type of wrestling. What, what, where, where, where are they going? Well, up until about, uh, what, 15 years ago, they weren't going anywhere. You know, you either make the world team, the Olympic team, or keep wrestling in place in the national. But now we get MMA. There's no fighters there that are any good that haven't wrestled. So it's a real good recruiting tool. All the MMA top okay. guys are ex-wrestlers or present grapplers. Wrestlers, grapplers. Yeah, right. they're not they're not WW phony baloney, they're wrestlers. Right. Right. So, now you are you still coach there, right? No. You're not you're not co coach no, there any no. longer. Okay, let, let's talk about your, your your career at Fresno State. Uh, when you came in, what was their record the year before? Uh, I don't really know. I don't think not they, good. They lost more than they won. They lost more than they won. With your first season, how did you do? Not very good. In fact, I told my team that my goal is to not have any of you guys return. They said, "What do you mean? Because you guys are no good." <laughs> 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 if I'm going to be a good coach, I need guys to make me look good. So I hit the recruiting ranks and. You know, recruited JC kids, and I just got a cluster of guys, and we got 
we got a pretty good thing going. We got a good mixture of kids, and we started winning. When you start winning, do people do, do the crowds get bigger? Yes, the crowds were very good. I well, mean, how many people would go to see a wrestling match? I'd say we averaged maybe eight hundred to a thousand people. That's a lot of people. We had the West Coast attendance record. We had uh, nine thousand seven hundred fifty people when we wrestled at Iowa State. Okay. At the same art center, yeah. So wrestling is really popular in this valley. You know, it's very strong. Colvis High, very strong. Just won their sixth, you know, their fifth state championship. So they're they're a very good, uh, you know, feeder program. If we ever get any of the guys, you know, at Fresno State. But uh, yeah, the valley is very strong. But you can't just live on Valley Kids. You got to go statewide and even sometimes nationwide. What is the benefit of wrestling? to these men as, as, as a person? Well, you know, there's millions of things you learn from wrestling. You know, it's a one-on-one -on -one sport. You're out there on your own. It's like life. You gotta go out there and compete. And if you don't win, you know, you don't prosper. It's just, I don't know, I, I can, look at me right now. I'm an old wrestler, but I'm pretty successful because I coach wrestling. That's the avenue I win. But I have, my nephews are in business and they, you know, they say they use wrestling every day in their lives. Really? Sure. Like Pablo Sainz out here. He uses wrestling every day of his life, probably. Mm -hmm. Maybe every other day. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I can't, it's hard for me to put words right now. If I run it down, I can tell you. It's just so many carryover values. Just, you know, making weight, being part of a team, friends you make. You know, it's just, it's a whole education. Something you can't get in in the biology class. When you say be a part of a team, how many people are on a wrestling team? Ten people on the That's it? college, yeah. That's it. So there's usually about 25 to 30 on the roster. And, uh, you know, we've had some, Larry Powell was a wrestler, mm -hmm. superintendent of school. Right. Mike Gallego, NC2A champ, is a dentist. Uh, Pablo here, he's a successful Teacher, athletic director, I don't even know what he is anymore. What about, he's, he's what about uh, Steve uh, Abbas? Yeah. Very, uh, what, what's he doing these days? He's uh, he's probably going to be a Sunnyside High School coach in wrestling. Is he good for him? Yeah. He's a really good guy. Yeah, he's uh, very successful. Probably the, probably the most successful wrestler in front of state history. Well, he is, without a question. Three-time NC2A champ and silver medalist in the Olympics. So it, Wow. He's he's way up there. <laughs> I, I had a chance to hang out with him a few times. He's just a really cool guy, yeah, he's too. he's a good kid. Just really nice guy. Yeah. yeah and that's what, he went into MMA for a while, but I didn't think he was a, he was a nice guy. What, 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 what do you him. think about MMA? Oh, I like it. You know, my nephew's a big promoter of MMA, Dwayne Zink. And, uh, Dwayne Zinkin's your nephew? Yeah, all this. Yeah, yeah that's my nephew. And... Uh, Dwayne Zinkin Jr. Right, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to eat myself. Too much. Uh, yeah, he uh, he got into it when he got into MMA. Everybody said, "Jerry, yeah, you're crazy. This is not going to go." This, is... but it's become very, very big. And oh, yeah. uh, you know, I try to recruit wrestlers for him, and he always asks me about him. And uh, we've kind of not that I have made his business any good, but you know, I recommended Cain Vasquez, uh, uh, Dan Cormier, and mm -hmm. both those guys are pretty good. So. It's just, it's, it's a heck of a sport, and the carryover, really a carryover value to their sport, MMA. Wrestling is definitely a carryover to that sport, without a question. What, what do you think about women wrestling? I don't think much about it. Yeah? You know, I don't, uh, it's never been my cup of tea. I've always worried about some things. I'm not going to make any dumb political statements here, but I'm, uh, I wouldn't coach it because I'm always scared of the lawsuits suspect of teaching kids how to wrestle. You have to touch body parts and right. you know, it's just my luck. <laughs> something, <laughs> I would get accused of something, so I've never really channeled my e efforts in that way. I have nothing against it. Okay. Uh, to each their own, you know, girl on girl and maybe a girl coach, but I'm not, I'm not in favor of coaching it myself. Right. I'm well, not against it, but I'm against me coaching it. I, okay. Good answer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what do you do now, Coach? Uh, nothing. I, I spent the last... See, it shows you how much wrestling means to a guy like you. Fredo State hasn't had wrestling in eight years. Did you know that? No, no I did that. not know that. You should be fired right now if you're not knowing well, that. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> how long ago were you there? Eight years ago? 205 was their last... Uh, 206 was their last season. Yeah, uh... 
I spent all these years trying to get Fresno State wrestling back. Now we're going to get it back, hopefully in March. They're going to hire a coach this coming March, and uh, it's on its way back, which is great. Sounds it's a great fun. Thing, yeah. All right, Coach, thank you very much thank for coming you. by. It's nice thank talking you. with nice you. Talking to you. Hey, you guys, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Stick around.